Okay, everybody. So today, this video is, you know, just kind of talking about the leather boots that I have. Since I feel leather boots aren't really a thing at the moment right now, even though some brands are starting to bring them back, I guess. But I feel they're kind of non-existent. So I wanted to make this video kind of just talking about the leather boots that I have and ranking those um and what i feel so this is kind of a little play test of those and the first boot that we have here is the adidas copa mundial um as you can see or maybe you can't but um i did kind of um i guess uh customized it i took off the stripes which people say that makes it worse but to me it didn't feel much different um i got the same feeling from it the problem is i did the play test on turf because i don't really have any nice fields around here um of real grass so i had to use the turf and i don't think the boots are made for that they don't feel very as comfortable um but everything felt good um i was a little lazy in the play test because i had done some workout before and the heat was just brutal and it was really hot so um, but as far as um, the Copa Mundial, you know what you're going to get, you know, a leather shoe, been around forever, um, it's going to be durable, when it does get wet, it will get heavy, um, but for the most part, it's just your, your good quality leather shoe that's going to last a long time, and, and you're pretty good, you get a pretty good touch on the ball, um, so that's the Copa Mundial. Next up, we have the Nike Tiempo um, Legend Elite. And this shoe, I really didn't have to test it that much because, I mean, I already know what I'm going to get out of it. It's one of my favorite boots out on the market, leather or not. And it's just a good all-around uh, shoe that, you know, no matter what position you play, um, it doesn't matter. You can play defense, forward midfield and you're going to get a quality boot of course kangaroo leather upper um with some fly in it that really gives you a good lockdown feel and it's actually really really um lightweight for what you're getting so um that's pretty cool i would say um just the best boot if you're looking for something light but leather and a good all-around boot that you know is pretty good fit um again the turf i don't really like how it feels on turf that much because uh, it does give me at least for me a little bit um different feeling um but a great boot nonetheless and next up we have the nike Premier 2 in the red colorway of course and to me, this was um, the boot that was most comfortable when I put it on. This is the first time that I put it on and actually played with it. Like I said, I look a little lazy in the playtest, but only because I had been um, doing other stuff before. But my shots felt the best with this shoe. I don't know if I had just warmed up enough, but it was just a clean strike. And I've um, customized these as well to put an elastic um 
band on the cover so i kind of was able to stretch it out and it really does make a little bit of difference for me anyway it gives it a cleaner um striking surface on you know and, and covers up the laces and to me i think that was the difference of why um it felt better for me and it's pretty lightweight as well um for being a a leather um, boot so the only thing is i would question is maybe the durability because they are a little thin really really soft um and especially being on turf i don't know how long they will last if you play on turf the conical studs are great um for the turf artificial grass or whatever um but i just don't know about the durability but like i said um i think my shots were the best with um this shoe Okay, so next up, uh, I'm testing the Concords. That's the Mexican brand, the white with the red logo on it, um, for those of you watching the video. And I would say these might have weighed the most of all the boots that I tried. Um, still pretty comfortable. Um, like I said before in another video, uh, my foot does move around a little bit. But once you start playing, um, you really don't notice it that much. Um, but I would say it was probably the boot that I had the best, second best shots after the premiere. Um, I really like the stud pattern on this. Uh, I love the, the the tongue that is fold over and um, with the elastic that holds it down. Uh, like I said, one of the heavier shoes that I tried. But nonetheless, still really comfortable. Um, durability, I don't feel will be an issue with this one. And just a solid build that you can use on turf or natural grass because this stud pattern is, is pretty good. And last but not least, we have the Manriquez. I finally put these on for a little bit and tested them out. Not a full play test, so I really can't give a full rundown of the shoe. But when I did what I did try um, during this play test, again, the same problem as the Concord. Uh, for some reason, a um, little loose around the ankle area. So um, I didn't feel a lot of stability when when doing a little bit of cuts and stuff. Um, I don't know if that's just like, I should have gone a half size under or down, or it's just the way the shoe is made. Maybe if you had white foot, it'd be okay. 
I have heard of putting like a double um, insole that'll kind of fix that problem. I'm not sure. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty comfortable. The, the leather is great. Um, stud pattern is, is really good. It, most, most of these cleats, um, you don't really get like an aggressive stud pattern. So if you're looking to make sharp cuts or to have you know something that's gonna you know make you feel faster these probably aren't the shoes for you so i would think you're not watching this if you know you probably already know that obviously it's not gonna these shoes aren't gonna give you the same stud pattern as a, a vapor or something like that so um i guess if you're watching this you already know that but um it's pretty comfortable like i said the the leather is is very soft the fold over tongue is a good thing for that um for striking uh it was it gave me a, a good solid strike surface and other than that it was pretty comfortable like um i know i won't suffer from blisters i just got to try to fix that problem of um i guess my heel or foot moving around it's not necessarily my foot it's just doesn't feel a lockdown around my my ankle so i gotta figure something out with that but like i said for the price you really can't beat it um and you can find them on Amazon or eBay. And uh, I would think the durability is going to be really good. That you can wear these on turf or natural grass and have no problems at all. So, that's a wrap. All right, so to wrap up this video, um, I tested five shoes slash boots, and they were the Copa Adidas Copa Mundial, um, the Nike uh, Tempo, the Nike Premier, the Concords, and the Manriquez. Um, now, I was going to say, if you're on a budget, the best boot you can get is a premiere if you're looking for something leather and you want something that is gonna um you know you're not gonna you're not gonna break the bank and you want something that's really good comfortable and good feeling um the premiere is probably the shoe for you um if you need something um a little bit less than that um in price range you could try the concords um so i would say those were my top two um, I would go Nike Premier, the Concords, then the Tiempos, then the Copa Mundial, and then um, the Manriquez. And the Manriquez, I only put those uh, at the end of the list because of, like I said, the the movement. I'm not having that lockdown feel around my ankle and my foot moving around. Um, I still am going to try them in a game or see what I can do to adjust those. But honestly, if you're looking for a leather boot, the I would I would recommend doing the the premiere it's the leather in the toe box is still even softer to me than the copa mundial and even the temple um which is shocking because i love the temple um but trying them on right now and having them you know almost right after one or the other wearing them right after the other 
the premiere to me just felt better. Um, when I when I took shots, if you watched the video, that was you know I had the best shots with with those shoes. And mind you, I was tired, like I said. Um, so forgive me for that. I know I didn't look like I had a lot of energy in the video, but I really was tired, and the sun was just you know take took a lot out of me. But you know I wanted to get the video done. And once I started, I just wanted to get out there. And um, so, if you ask me, I would go with um, the 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 Nike Premier as the top shoe that I have of the leather boots, um, and then Concord, and then Tiempo, and then Copa Mundial, and then uh, the Manriquez. So that's my video uh, for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It does take a lot for me to go out there and and in this grueling heat <laughs> and stand out there and do this. Um, so give it a thumbs up, like comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.